Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Elementor OS has passed 117 total apps in the App Center, with more than 87 available already for Elementary Juno. With this healthy growing number, I think it's time we take a look at some of my favorite productivity apps. Timetable. It's a fairly new app to the App Center. Timetable is another product of Lanes, a very prolific Elementary OS app developer responsible for NodeJot, a simple note-taking app, Quilter, which we'll talk a lot more about in a minute, or Aesop, a nicely designed PDF reader. Timetable aims to let you organize your week by creating tasks for each day. Very simple in appearance, it allows you to set colors for tasks, to group them by urgency or by project, and lets you select the time period for each, or assign the tasks for the complete day. Timetable is perfect for creating your student schedule, or simply organizing a very busy week. You can switch the color scheme between three different ones, although the differences are minor, and choose to display the weekend days or not. Timetable is available in the App Center for free. Spice Up One you might already know, Spice Up is a very good looking presentation making app. It comes with nice pre-made templates and has been steadily updated during 2018. It now supports transitions between slides, presenter notes, and, as always, you can add text, images, and basic shapes to your slides with a bunch of color options, as well as the ability to export to PDF. It's no LibreOffice competitor in terms of features, but for simple, easy-to-create slide decks, it's a fantastic tool. SpiceUp is available on the App Center with an asking price of $20, which I find quite steep, but as always with Elementary, you're free to choose the amount you'd like to pay for it. Quilter Quilter is one of my favorite Elementary OS apps. Another one of Lane's products, it's a simple but efficient markdown editor. It has been updated recently to receive a sidebar to handle multiple files, and works with two modes, the edit mode, where you type using the markdown syntax, and the preview mode, where you look at the content as it's being rendered. Quilter supports three color schemes, white, sepia, and dark, and even has a focus mode to focus on the line or paragraph you're writing and making the rest of your text fade in the background. Quilter is fantastic for mid- to long-form writing, with a simple, distraction-free interface and a character, word or line count at the bottom with an estimated read time. The preferences allow you to tweak how the focus mode works, how the interface looks, as well as enabling spell checking. It also comes with a very simple markdown cheat sheet, to allow you to look at the syntax if you don't remember everything. Quilter is available for free and is a serious contender for the number one spot on my list of apps which I like to write with. Taxi. If you have to connect to FTP servers regularly, Taxi is the app you need. It uses a simple and nice elementary interface and fulfills the basics. Connecting to an FTP, SFTP, DAV or AFP file server and uploading and downloading files to and from these servers. It also supports favorites, so you can save your logins and passwords automatically. Taxi won't be enough for power users, but for me, to check on the correct upload of XML files regularly, it does the job perfectly. Taxi is available in the App Center for an asking price of $10, but as always, pay what you feel is right. Minder I've already talked about Minder in a specific video, but it still makes the list. It's a beautiful mind mapping application, which supports different node layouts, task nodes, and export to various formats such as JPEG, PNG, SVG, PDF, or even Markdown. Minder allows you to select from a few different color schemes, it can automatically balance your nodes on the page and reorder them automatically to make them more legible. It's available for free in the App Center, check out my earlier video on this specific app to know more. Obviously, these are my preferred apps, but depending on what you do and your workflow, there are tons more that might suit you more. SQLer is fantastic if you work with databases. Chiano is very useful to quickly convert audio and video files to another format. And NotesUp is a great tool to take multiple notes and organize them into notebooks for easier reference. Now, what are your favorite Elementor OS apps and which apps do you think are still missing from the App Center? Sound off in the comments. I, for one, wouldn't mind some kind of basic office suite to complement SpiceUp with a simple word processor and a basic spreadsheet program. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!